Greetings, my unique Virgos and others. Uh, this is Soul, Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. Um, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for my unique Virgos and others for the week of August 10th to the 16th. Uh, before I begin, I want to thank my new subscribers and my current followers who continue to uh, show their love and support of my channel and what I do. Uh, I'm going to get right into this reading so I don't waste any time. But uh, before I do, I just want to say that if there's anyone out there who uh, wants to uh, obtain a reading with me, I will provide a link in the description box underneath the video and just follow the link. Also, I am using a new deck. Uh, my first time trying this deck uh, in doing readings. I sort of like this deck. Uh, the imagery is very, very beautiful. Uh, and I like it even more so because it depicts real people on the cards. Um, the deck is called uh, Astro Sky On by Blue Jean. And uh, he created this deck and he's on Facebook. If anybody wants to, um, you know, purchase the deck or know any or want to know any more about the deck and what he's done and the work that he's that he does. Okay, so let's begin because it, my Virgos, um, I am so happy to report you got a lot of positive energy here. And this is the very first time that I've pulled uh, three queen cards. So this is going to be a very powerful week for some of you uh, this week. In all areas, love, work, creativity, all of it's coming through. Some of you will experience it. Like I said, this reading is going to resonate with some of you, but not all of you. But let's begin because we have as your central theme and energy of the week is the Queen of Cups. Now, ironically, I just did this, uh, poured this excuse me, pulled this card for a uh, Leo. And it was in their past position. So now you have it as the uh, theme for you, the energy going into the week. Now I'm going to apply some of the uh, information that I have spoken about uh, with Leo. But because this is the central theme, I feel that some of you are going to be feeling deeply emotional this week. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. Because you got so many positive cards to follow this to support what I'm saying. But I also feel that some of you are strongly... Um, you know, relying on your intuition and your gut instincts uh, relating to uh, any matters that you're dealing with uh, or particularly this week. Um, but you're feeling and this is for males and female energy that I'm picking up because it's the queen. I'm also not really attaching the sex to the card, but it's just the energy that I feel that for some of you are just feeling emotionally good about yourself, which is always good. Uh, even if this card was in the uh, reverse, it still would be a good card to have uh, energy wise. But what I'm explaining to you is that this queen is all about, uh, you know, nurturing, um, uh, mothering. Uh, she cares about her environment and the people that are close to her. So some of you are going to be experiencing um, a lot of this love. And it's, of course, it's associated with the uh, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. So some of you uh, Virgo individuals may be in a relationship with uh, a water sign or you're dating someone or you could just be, you know, uh, friends with a water sign. But this energy is very, very positive. Um, however, situation you are in uh i think that basically the the intuition excuse me the intuition part that i'm speaking of is going to be very strong um uh, for my virgos uh going into this week august 10th to the 16th so that's very good to have energy wise next up in your past position we have the sun in the upright major arcana now, I'm feeling for some of my Virgos, um, this is past energy, that you are, and I'm still feeling for some of you right now, that you're in a happy place. Not all of you, but I feel that some of you, um, you know, with the sun being in the upright in the past position, some of you had experienced something that brought joy, uh, some sort of fulfillment to you, happiness, contentment. 
Um, just seemed like the whole world was just shining bright for you. And some of you have uh, returned to childlike uh, behaviors. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you um, were acting immature. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying some of you just feel good about yourself and, you know, did some things um, as if you were reliving your childhood or did something that you did uh, when you were a kid growing up that excited you and that uh, made you happy. So I'm feeling for some of my Virgos that some of this has taken place and some of this energy I feel still is being carried over as I speak with uh, a few of you. Uh, so the Sun card is one of the best cards in the Major Arcana to get. So um, uh, that's really happy to, to also report that some of you Virgos were experiencing uh, just, and even if it's not, you know, involving a relationship, it's just you're happy, overall content with yourself if you're single and um you have peace within yourself so that's very good okay in your present position we have the the queen of uh swords here and it's in the upright and you know the queen of swords is all about taking charge this is for male and female energy i feel that for some of you because it's in your present position going into the week that a lot of you virgos are going to take charge of making and cutting through any kind of uh, decisions that you need to make, necessary decisions that affect you, uh, whether it is a relationship, it could just be something uh, related to a family uh, situation or, you know, your job, whatever, whatever it relates to you. I think that you're going to be in a take charge position, male or female, and you're going to cut away, you know, the bullshit, unnecessary bullshit in your life and, um, you know, come out on top. And also, I'm feeling that I, I want to stay away as much as I can from the relationships. But because I'm being fed to say this, that some of you uh, Virgos may be dealing with a um, an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra individual. It doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be that you could be, you know, having a close friendship or, or you know, sisterhood, brotherhood with uh, the air signs are um someone in the family is an air sign so you'll be dealing with them but in a good way uh this week but i feel for you personally it's all about taking charge you know standing your ground and uh whatever decisions that you make you're going to cut whatever things that are brought to your table you're going to cut through and uh you'll come out on top so that's very good energy to have going into the week of August 10th to the 16th. So take charge, Virgo. Next up in your outcome position, we have the Queen of Wands. Like I said before, I I don't think since I started this channel that I pulled three queens out in a spread, especially a mini spread like this. But the Queen of Wands, and this is how some of my Virgos are going to be feeling at the end of the week. You're going to be feeling create, excuse me, creative, passionate, and feel like you're on fire, male or female. And it's all about... Um, the queen of wands is, is, is a, a no bullshit person, but she doesn't, she, he or she, I should say, doesn't use their energy in the wrong way as far as, you know, in terms of trying to hurt anyone or, you know, she, she could be selfish, but not totally selfish. And I'm not feeling that for some of my Virgos this week, that that's what you're going to end up doing is being selfish. No, this is all about, uh, you see the heart in the center there it's all about uh being inspired and passionate about whether it is it is that you are involved in a relationship with someone or you know it could be uh something that you, you know hobby wise if you like to write paint sing dance uh whatever it is that's passionate for you i think that a lot of it's going to come out this week so that's really really good energy uh coupled with the queen so it's more or less like you're going to get a balance of uh energy because you have the queen of cups which is water signs you have the queen of wands excuse me queen of wands which is air and then you have the queen of queen of wands which is fire so there's a balance so there's all kinds of uh elements going on with uh energy you know for my virgos energy wise this week and to top it off, you have the major arcana, which is the sun, which is really, really good. 
So I feel that my Virgos are going to have a pretty good week coming up uh, in all areas of their life. Now, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, I'm applying it to couples as well because I feel that, you know, um, within a relationship or if you're dating, um, you know, expect good things to happen. But if you're not it, it's, and you're single, still expect good things to happen for yourself. Um, but then, you know, too, the energy has to be applied. So you can't just wait for things to happen um, for you. You have to make your make the things that you want to happen for yourself, for the ones who are, you know, single or coupled. Um, the energy is here and I'm passing it on to you. So the message is, is really, really positive and is good. So your spirit message card that I have for you is um, hope. And on this card, it says your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point, whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life. There is always hope. So, you know, I can't even really add to this card because it's self-explanatory, but I'm going to throw it and couple it with the sun. See, because the sun is, is also too about hope and inspiration. So. You know, not every Virgo that I'm reading for is going to have a good week. OK, let's make that clear, because like I said, this is general reading is going to resonate with some of you, but not all of you. But the message is, is, you know, if if there are Virgos out there who feel like they're in a, a, a you know, a certain place or something, there's always hope. Don't ever give up on uh, a situation and thinking that you know, there's no hope or, you know, you're not going to see the light at the end of the tunnel um, because you are. And I think with the sun here, with the past energy, although it is in the past energy, is still being carried over. And I always say that the readings that I do, some of the energy may not be during the time stamp, but it may follow the following week. Uh, so, you know, always come back and look and see how your week ends up and then see if it resonates um to what I'm saying to you but I, I really do feel strongly that and I would be too surprised if you know uh, uh, quite a few of you don't experience this energy this week coming up for you because um, it's all about you know being in charge being uh, you know nurturing and uh, using your intuition and being more creative and passionate and feeling hopeful you know so that's really good Okay, so that's what I have for my unique Virgos and others for the week of August 10th to the 16th, 2015. This is a general reading. Um, again, I want to thank everyone uh, for their support and what I'm doing. And uh, wishing my uh, unique Virgos and others a very, very blessed 